Did we not make the earth as a resting place and the mountains as stakes? So, um, I've seen a bunch of people do some religious stuff on YouTube, um, also regarding to reaction videos, and um, it's usually a topic I don't like really make like making videos about because I made one on Bosnia and Herzegovina as well, since it's so complicated. But on the other hand, there's so much stuff that I don't know about it because I mostly just don't want to have to do anything with it to say so no matter what religion so don't feel offended i found this video which is called nine shocking facts from the quran yeah does it hurt to make a video about it i don't know so let's just do it you know let's 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 check out what these nine shocking facts from the quran are um maybe a fun fact to know or some info behind um i went to a christian school if if that's going to surprise people in the, in the Netherlands, a Christian school, but the Christian school didn't only teach Christianity in, in like classes. There was a class called religious, um, religious studies, and it was not only about Christianity. We basically learned about every single belief or religion, to say so, um, in the world during five years of high school. So we basically learned literally all the holy stories from all the things, well, not the entire, all the details, but like the main line of the holy story, the differences between the religions, what, what one side thinks, what the other side thinks, why, uh, why they do certain things the way they do it. So culture wise and also habits uh, related to religion. So I, I never found that a bad thing just to be clear on that but that gives you a bit of a background on how much i know about religion in general um and i've said many times that religion is not something i don't know i have to have an opinion about to say so because it's not relevant for who i am and for the content which i make um but nevertheless we're gonna make a reaction video to the nine choking facts from the quran but where's my headset god damn it i just realized i said god damn it while making a religious video oh fuck. sorry Oopsie daisy! <laughs> Ever okay. since the dawn of mankind, we have sought to understand nature and our place in it. In this quest for the purpose of life, many people have turned to religion. Most religions are based on books claimed by their followers to be divinely inspired without any proof. Islam is different because it is based upon reason and proof. There are clear signs that the Book of Islam, the Qur'an, is the Word of God, and we have many reasons to support this claim. Fact, just, you know, something I know, is that Islam is the youngest religion in the world. It is the, you know, the religion that is mentioned the latest in history, to say so, and all the followers. There are scientific and historical facts found in the Qur'an, which were unknown to the people at the time and have only been discovered recently by contemporary science. The Qur'an is in like a unique what? style of language that cannot be replicated. This is known as the inimitability of the Qur'an. There are prophecies... Written in a language that it cannot be copied. It, isn't it just Arabic? Or am I wrong on this one? Just to be clear, don't be offended about the stuff that I say about all this, because I'm, I don't know a lot of it, so... That's it's more like question wise. <laughs> I know stuff, but I don't know everything. He's made in the Quran and by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which have come to pass. The following are some facts found in the Quran. Number one, origin of life. Okay. Water is essential for all living things. We all know that water is vital to life. But the Qur'an makes a very unusual claim. We made every living thing from water. Will they not believe? In this verse, water is pointed out as the origin of all life. All living yeah. things are made of cells. That's true. We now and know that cells are mostly, mostly made of up of water. For example, 80% of the cytoplasm, basic cell material, of a standard animal cell, is described as water in yeah. biology textbooks. The fact that living things consist mostly of water 
was discovered only after the invention of the microscope. In the deserts of Arabia, the last thing someone would have guessed is that all life came from water. Damn. Yeah, Number totally two, agree. Iron. That's really something iron to think is about. Iron not natural to the earth. It did not form on the earth, but came down to earth from outer space. Yes, I know this, this as well. This may sound strange, but it's true. Scientists have found that billions of years ago, the earth was stuck by meteorites. These meteorites were carrying iron from distant stars, which had exploded. Hmm. The Quran says the following on the origin of iron. We sent down iron with its great inherent strength and its many benefits for humankind. God uses the words sent down for iron. It is clear from the verse that iron is not an earthly material, but was sent down for the benefit of humanity. The fact that iron came down to earth from outer space is something which could not be known by the primitive science of the 7th oh, century. century. Yeah. Number three. Sky's protection. I say so much swear words. I'm sorry. It's just the sky my plays bad a habit. crucial role in protecting the earth. The sky protects the earth from the lethal rays of the sun. If the sky did not exist, then the sun's radiation would have killed off all life on earth. It also acts like a blanket wrapped around earth to mm -hmm. protect it from the freezing cold yeah, of space. The, the ozone layer. If this temperature was to reach Earth, then the planet would freeze over instantly. Mm -hmm. The sky also protects life on Earth by warming the surface through heat retention, greenhouse effect, and reducing temperature extremes between day and night. These are some of the many protective functions of the sky. The Quran asks us to consider the sky in the following verse. We made the sky a protective ceiling and yet they are turning away from our signs. The Quran points to the sky's protection as a sign of God. The protective properties of the sky were discovered by scientific research conducted in the 20th century. Number four, mountains. That, that just blows my mind because there's so much time between it. And yes, you, there is all the way it is written, if it's written this way as he's, you know, quoting it or um, re- how do you call it? Re rephrasing it? Paraphrasing it? I, I forgot what the exact um, you know word for it is. Um, if that's true, then you know the way it is written, you cannot really interpret it any other way, to be honest. So this is uh, <laughs> I'm kind of out of words. This is pretty mind blowing. The Quran draws our attention I to love a very mountains. important characteristic of mountains. Mm -hmm. Did we not make the earth as a resting place? and the mountains as stakes. The what Quran indicates that mountains have deep roots by using the word stakes to describe them. In fact, mountains do have deep roots and the word stakes is an accurate description for them. A book titled Earth by geophysicist Frank Press explains that mountains are like stakes and are buried deep under the surface of the earth. Mount Everest the height of which is approximately 9 kilometers above ground, has a root deeper than 125 kilometers. What? The fact that mountains have a deep stake, like roots, was not known until after the development of the theory of plate tectonics in the beginning of the 20th, the 20th century. century. Yes, because I've learned all this Number stuff five, in school. Expansion of the universe. At a time when the science of astronomy was still primitive, mm -hmm. the expansion of the universe was described in the Quran. And it is we who have built the universe with our creative power and keep expanding it. The fact that the universe is expanding was discovered in the last century. The yeah. physicist Stephen Hawking, in his book A Brief History of Time, yep. writes, The discovery that the universe is expanding was one of the great intellectual revolutions of the, of the 20th, 20th century. century. Yeah. I've learned all of this stuff. The mentioned the expansion of the universe even before the invention of the telescope. Number six, sun's orbit. In 1512, the astronomer Nicholas Copernicus put forward his theory that the sun... I mean, you could say it's a coincidence, but the fact that it is 
this is the fifth thing or this fourth thing that he mentioned the can the, the fact that it's reoccurring that's the thing that makes it really really blow my mind the center of the solar system and that the planets revolve around it the belief that the sun is stationary was widespread amongst astronomers until the 20th century mm -hmm. it is now a well-established scientific fact that the sun is not stationary but is moving in an orbit around the center of our milky way galaxy the quran mentions the orbit of the sun it is he who created night and day the sun and the moon each floating in its orbit the quran would have been wrong according what? to astronomers just a couple of decades ago but we now know that the quranic account of the sun's motion that is it's actually with true modern astronomy I number seven the ocean the quran uses imagery to convey its deep meanings here it describes the state of the unbelievers as darkness out in a deep ocean which is covered by waves above which are waves above which are clouds layers of darkness one upon the other when one puts out his hand therein he can hardly see it those god gives no light to they have no light it is commonly thought that waves only occur on the surface of the ocean. However, oceanographers have discovered that there are internal waves that take place below the surface of the ocean. These waves are invisible to the human eye and Current? can only be detected by specialist equipment. Oh, there's actual waves. The Quran wave. mentions darkness in a deep ocean above which are waves. Above which are waves, then clouds above that. Yeah, it's mentioning layers. This description layers. is not only remarkable because it describes the internal waves in the ocean, but also because it describes darkness deep in the ocean. Yeah, which is true. It's A dark, human being completely can dive dark. No more than 70 meters without breathing equipment. Light is present at that depth, but if we go down 1,000 meters, it is completely dark. Yeah, because the sun can't reach it. 1,400 years ago. There are no submarines or specialist equipment to discover internal waves or their darkness deep inside the oceans. Number 8. Lying in Movement There was a cruel, oppressive tribal leader named Abu Jahl who lived during the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. God revealed a verse of the Quran to warn him. No, indeed, if he does not stop, we will seize him by the forehead his lying, sinful forehead. God does not call this person a liar, but calls his forehead, the front part of the brain, lying and sinful, and warns him to stop. Mm -hmm. This verse is significant for two reasons. The first is that the front part of our brain is responsible for voluntary movement. This is known as the frontal lobe, a book titled Essentials of Anatomy and Physiology which includes the results of research on the functions of this area states. The motivation and the foresight to plan and initiate movements occur in the anterior portion of the frontal lobes, the prefrontal area. The part of the brain that is responsible for movement is said to be seized if the man does not stop. Secondly, numerous studies have shown that this same region, frontal lobe, is responsible for the lying function of the brain. Wow. One such study at the University of Pennsylvania, in which volunteers were asked questions during a computerized interrogation, it was found that when the volunteers were lying, there was significantly increased activity in the prefrontal and premotor cortices frontal lobe region. The front wow. part of the brain is responsible for movement and lying. The Quran links movement and lying to this area. These functions of the frontal lobe were discovered with medical imaging equipment, which was developed in the 20th century. What? Number nine. Isn't... It, you know, if I would be a scientist right now, I would get that holy book, go through all of it, and everything regarding to stuff on Earth. Um, I would just go do research about and then win every Nobel Prize in a row, because this is insane really insane i'm i'm blown away i had not much expectations from this video but damn pain receptors for a long time it was thought that the sense of feeling and pain was dependent on the brain however it has been discovered that there are pain receptors present in the skin 
without these pain receptors, a person would not be able to feel pain. Mm -hmm. Consider the following verse on pain. We shall send those who reject our revelations to the hellfire. When their skins have been burned away, we shall replace them with new ones so that they may continue to feel the pain. God is almighty, all wise. God tells the people who reject his message that when they are in hell and their skins are burnt off so they can't feel any pain, he will give them new skins so that they continue to feel the pain. The Quran makes it clear that pain is dependent upon the skin. The discovery Apparently, of yeah. pain receptors in the skin is a fairly recent discovery for biology. Holy crap. These are just... Holy crap. I said it again. I got, oh, so stupid. Just... What he did... How can... You ask me for my opinion on something like this. It's a, how can I not... I cannot deny this. It's all confirmed, so how, how am I going to deny this? That's the thing, it's just my this is rolling in my head right now, like, what, what, what do people expect me to comment on this? Except for the fact that I've never known this, and expect, for the fact that it's really blowing my mind that this is true. Facts found in the Qur'an. It is important to know that the Qur'an is not a book of science, but that it is consistent with science. To claim that scientific facts in the Qur'an are due to coincidence would be irrational. The best explanation is that God revealed this knowledge to the Prophet Muhammad. Just like the Qur'an contains knowledge about the natural world, it also contains information about the inner dimensions of our souls. Mm -hmm. It relates to our feelings, wants, and needs. The Qur'an informs us that we have a purpose in life and that following God's guidance will lead us to an inner peace in this life and paradise in the hereafter. And that rejection of his message will lead to depression in this life and hellfire after death. That's the part where I'm like, that's kind of, you know, fucked up. If you're gonna force someone into a belief. Um, yeah, so yeah, that part could have, you know, <laughs> could have left out of the video, I guess. I find this part really interesting, but then comes the part where you're using religion by, you know, it, it's almost a, a threat, to be honest. Like, yeah, if you don't believe into this, then okay, that's that's okay, but then you'll have a fucked up life for now, and then after that you're gonna burn as well. So this is the part where, where I start to dislike every religion where I'm forced upon doing something. So even if the book is based on, or, well, is... Um, consistent with science and stuff, then that's great, and you can learn from it, and blah, 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 blah. That someone has to live his entire life, I mean, I couldn't, some people do, based upon something written thousands of years ago. But that's my opinion, so, you know, it, this is a really complicated topic, where I can hurt a lot of people, so I'm trying to shut the hell up, um, but I, I hope I just explained that the best way I could without offending someone. Nevertheless, great video. If people have more stuff like this from different religions, I'm always down f for watching that. I'm interested in all kinds of things. I don't really, you know, reject something unless it's really, really stupid. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I see you guys in the next video. Ciao. Perfect.